Geek Select. Dustin, Chad. And welcome back, Super Geek friends. This is Dustin. And this is Chad. And we're still playing Sonic 2. Hopefully we're gonna get to Sonic 3. Scyther! Pretty soon. That did look like a Scyther. Uh-huh. So, uh I don't remember where we are ah! right now. Oh, <laughs> You crab bastard. Crab battle. Crab battle. Ah! Oh, I don't even know where to go. Okay, screw it. I'm just okay. gonna jump. Oh, God. So, are you inside a machine? I'm, yes. I'm raging against the machine. All right. Okay, so I don't know if this is the one. We, so, we were using this last time. There are so many bad guys in this level that are reminiscent of Pokemon. You got the Scyther there, there's Staryu's all over the place, and then there's the Krabby guy that punched you in the face earlier, so that's interesting. Well, and then remember a lot of the, there's animals inside these things, except for those ones. Those animals are dead because they blew up. Oh, quite clearly. They are quite dead. Alright, so uh, where we're at right now, this seems like a little bit more of a slow platforming section. Does that make it a little bit more nerve-wracking for you when yeah, you go fast? Yeah, especially when um, you're going up the screw parts. Uh-huh. Like, you have to run on the screws because uh, there's always going to be an enemy up there ready to just wreck your shit. And not in a good way. So sorry, everybody, that we haven't been uh, updating as much. We were uh, we were actually at a convention, um, so it kind of slowed down our- Oh, oh God! Oh, that's oh. what I was talking about! So it kind of slowed down our recording process a little bit. Yeah, just a, just a tad. Uh, we had uh, gone to a local convention here in Arizona, and uh, definitely a lot of uh, a lot of interesting things came out of that trip. Uh, now, I don't know if uh, everybody here knows about Chad, but Chad is quite the uh, cosplaying aficionado. Shit. You keep getting wrecked by spikes. Damn it! Are you gonna die? No, I got this one ring. I'm one. Gonna... Okay, I'm just gonna wait for that. Okay. Okay. Jump. Maybe I should have tried to get supersonic in this playthrough. Oh, hey, shit! Oh, get the same... Oh, uh, there we go. Ah, okay. it's gonna happen again! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 no! no, no, no. Oh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's, okay. it's, okay. it's, okay. it's not okay! Oh my oh, god! Okay! Oh, oh, my god. god. okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. I am so nerve-wracked right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, god. Tails, where have you been? Whew. You were talking about costuming, I'm sorry. Yes, and so you're- No! Oh my gosh, not again. Sorry, I'm very- So, so you're the costuming aficionado amongst, uh, amongst us here. I'm kind of new to this whole thing, so I was going to a panel to learn a little bit more about it, and, uh, you wouldn't believe who one of the topics of conversation was at this panel. Not happy about this, by the way. Uh, so, so we're sitting there talking about- it was about making armor for, uh, for your costumes, whether it's- uh, you know, Commander Shepard, something from, uh, Mass Effect, you know, any- anything else, like, Dragon Age Inquisition, you know, stuff like that. Really serious, heavy armor yeah, pieces. Yeah, like, hardcore armor. Uh, and, so, uh, the topic of conversation transferred to, um, that people always have, because of the armor, giant asses. And... Not that, uh, not that this is about a giant ass, but get, uh, who was the topic of conversation during this panel, which was completely at random. We didn't know anybody you knew was gonna be there. You didn't know anybody you knew was gonna be there. It was just me, Amber, and a bunch of strangers as far as we're concerned. And all of a sudden, they bring up, uh, the Commander Shepard ass, which is me yep. your ass, in the middle of a room of, like, 200 people, Fuck. and you're dead. It's okay. So, to clarify, they were talking about the, uh, how weird the butt plate is for the N7 armor. And, um, that, because I costume as Commander Shepard, they started talking about my butt. And, um, I was not aware of this. And you guys weren't the first ones to tell me, because I, I had a booth there. <laughs> so just this random person came up to my booth. I don't know who they are. They're just like, hey, are you Chad? I'm like, yeah, because uh, it's obvious my booth says Art by Chad. So they're like, are you the Chad that costumes as Commander Shepard? And I'm like, yes. And they're like, they were talking about your butt at a panel. I'm like, excuse me? And then they just <laughs> left without saying anything to clarify. So then when you guys show up and you say that, I'm like, god damn it! 
And not related to what just happened, of course, I'm assuming. No. God damn it. So I didn't know about Fucking that. Fucking hate this boss. <laughs> I didn't know that somebody else came up to you and mentioned that before we got there. No, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> I didn't know who they were. I had no, like, context of the situation. So I was rather surprised. But that makes it even better, because our experience was it, was, it was completely quiet in the, in the panel. They make this joke about this random person's name. Everyone's deadpan quiet. One second. Two seconds. Then Amber and I just lose our shit. We're the only ones laughing, and we are dying in the middle of this room. And they're like, apparently somebody knows Chad. And I'm like, yes, we do. Thank you so much. He's not going to live this down. Nope, so that was a constant joke for the rest of the convention. And it didn't help that the only costume I brought with me was spandex. Oh, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, the... Uh, what, what is it again? It's the white Dino Thunder Ranger from Power Rangers Dino Thunder. The white Dino Dad Ass Ranger. God I think damn it, made. Dustin. No, I, I, you know, and I was, I was with you the whole time you were walking around in that outfit, and I've never, uh, I've never been one for people to often approach me for pictures, but oh my god, it's like you were a secret celebrity the whole time you were in that costume. That was legitimately, because I've done Power Rangers before. Mm -hmm. I've got a Red Ranger and I've got a Green Ranger in the works, but I love this level! And also hate this level! Because Tails, like, tracks your movements, but he doesn't always, like, keep up exactly. He's not fast enough. No, so you gotta be really careful. But you have to, like, look up and, like, you gotta give Tails signals, like, go down! Go up, go down, go up, go down. Okay, so so speaking of signals, anyway, with oh, that, um, you know, I was kind of playing the part of your entourage because I while couldn't you were see in shit in that helmet. Yeah, I'm gonna throw up a picture of what it looks like. So that red visor. So what I couldn't see was red, and everything else was just incredibly blurry. Um, the next day, I actually put the uh, toothpaste in my visor. Um, because it's an old trick that uh, scuba divers and snorkelers use to uh, basically it's like a cheap defog for visors So that helped out a lot, but that first day where I had Dustin helping me. I couldn't see shit. It was really bad And so I'm I'm in front of him pretty much the whole time trying to navigate him So I'm like putting my hands out <laughs> to my sides like a starfish and and I'm using like like code talker hand motion, to which like, I still couldn't really see those either. <laughs> we're, we're, I'm like, he can't see anything, but he can probably see me waving this way. Yeah, I saw like a blur go past my visor, and and I'm getting really into it. And I'm like doing like eye things where I'm like going like two eyes, like I'm pointing my fingers at my eyes, and I'm going like this, motioning to the left. I'm like, we're going left now. Because you'd be like, I kind of want to go over here, but I don't know where here is. And I'm like, <laughs> I've got this. I know how to get there. But every, what was it, like every five, ten feet, somebody, whether they were, uh, you know, a young child, a full-blown adult, or drunk as fuck. Yeah, like that black guy. <laughs> oh, shit, it's the White Ranger, we better fight. And I'm like, no, let's not. You'll win. I can't see anything, and it's at night. Yeah. I almost fell down the escalator several times. <laughs> Who knew that escalators were a Power Ranger's worst enemy? No wonder they always flip down the stairs. So, with with that in mind, I never knew how non-conducive to actual fighting those suits were. <laughs> That's cosplay in general. <laughs> There's like nothing practical about cosplay. But but you gotta think, it's pretty much the similar stuff that they were wearing on the show, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, except uh, the suit that I was wearing wasn't meant for someone as tall as me, so it's a little more restrictive. Um, but yeah, I, it gives you like a whole... Uh, new appreciation for the actors that had to do that, especially do that and and flip and fight and do all sorts of crazy shit. Because I don't, I don't, I can't even walk downstairs without freaking out. So I'm not gonna fucking flip downstairs. That's for sure. Yeah, I, I remember you posing for uh, this this photo shoot, and then you were all of a sudden, Dustin, can you help me? I couldn't get down. I was up on top of a tiny little ledge, and I'm just like, I ain't not jumping down. Can someone please help me? It was the most pathetic thing ever. This person showed up while we were doing our photo shoot, because he also wanted a picture, and um, he was like looking at me, like waiting for me to get down from the ledge, and I just looked at him and just shook my head, no, I'm not getting down. So he got up on the ledge with me. That's how bad it was. And I'm gonna sound like a total pansy, but like, it's- Oh! 
<laughs> but um, in some of my other costumes, it's not bad. I was just having a lot of trouble with that white Dino Thunder. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh, yeah. God, I hate this. So this entire level is just filled with suspense as far as I'm concerned. We are almost at the end of the game, We're my friend. We're almost at the end. Well, no wonder it's end. hard. Let's get uh, let's get through this. Let, let me get past that little like that little uh, part with the uh, the white levers, the white platforms over here. I just want to get through this before the end of the episode because this is tense. Well, oh, and you're like on a giant B-52 bomber. This is like almost conducive to the last levels of Super Mario okay. when you're on the battleships. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay. Not there. Huh. There. And huh. And huh. Okay, we oh, made it. Good. All okay. right. Woo! Oh. That makes me feel a lot better. So, next time on Super Geek Friends? Yes, next time on Super Geek Friends, Sonic will be even more impatient with us. <laughs> Just looking at his non existent watch. Fuck you, you 90s asshole.